This week we hit the road again heading westwardly into Cadiz. But this time we are not heading into the heartland of Sherry. We are on our way to Seville, capital of Andalusia and a region with a less known yet fascinating tradition of winemaking. To get there, take the Autovía Jerez Los Barrios, which connects to the now toll-free Cadiz Sevilla motorway. The trip is comfortable and takes approximately two hours, but the wait is well worth it. The variety of local delicacies, combined with an unparalleled cultural and historic offering, makes the visit to Seville an absolute must for all those who roam these parts. 15 minutes west of the city, in the nearby town of Umbrete, our friends from Bodega Salado await us. Paco, good morning. Good morning, Alex. Welcome. So, thank you. Thank you for having us today. Nice to meet you. Looking forward to visit Bodega Salado. Thank you for coming. I, I hope you enjoy your visit to our, our winery, our bodega. Um, just to give you an idea what we what we have here, I will tell you something about our history. Maybe you know that Trajan and Natrian were born in Seville mm -hmm. many years ago, and they were bringing uh, wines from Andalusia to Rome, to the empire. Right. Okay? After, After that, that uh, as you know, when with, with the, the discovery of America, America, we have no fridge, we have no any anything to to protect the food mm -hmm. to take the things uh, for the sailors and they were barrels full of wine and they introduced inside the food so sometimes they didn't know if the sailor were sick because of the wine or because of the boat right and, and, and of course the port of seville was very important with the commerce with uh, with america uh, yes of course known for its steamy hot summers and many opera references Seville is a jewel of a city whose fabulous food, architecture and exotic flamenco rhythms never fail to charm and seduce. Seville's cathedral is the largest Gothic cathedral and third largest church in the world. Its iconic Giralda Bell Tower was formerly the mosque's minaret and is all that remains of the Islamic structure that preceded the cathedral. Fifteen minutes away from the capital is the town of Umbrete, famous for its production of excellent mosto as well as for its historic wealth. After the discovery of America, the history is uh, continued by the British because uh, they, they came here to Spain, they drank uh, our wines, they liked our wines, and uh, they tried to make these wines in their, in their country, in your country. So, but you know, the weather that we have, we have to <laughs> Here is quite we are lucky. It's, it's quite, quite difficult, difficult to get it in Britain. Britain. And as you know, British are very good uh, traders, so mm -hmm. they are clever. So what they thought, if we can know, we cannot make wine in our country. Just, just go there. there. So uh, they depend because of the demand of wine. Uh, they need to get uh, grapes from different different uh, villages yeah. for the province on the surrounding, and. In 1998, it was created a Consejo Regulador mm -hmm. del Marco de Jerez. Right. So it was agreed by that that uh, they don't buy any grape out from the province of Cadiz. Mm -hmm. So at that time, after 1998, many, many people who were with the vineyards uh, disappeared. And uh, right now, this is one. The, uh, in this area, we have one far away from here, mm -hmm. the, uh, in a near village from here, and this one only here. We are a familiar, we are familiar because this is the fifth and the sixth generation of the Salado family working here. Right. And uh, what else can I can tell you? Let's have a drink. Perfect. Okay. Go Why inside not? here. Okay. <laughs> the vineyards of Bodega Salado are located in the Aljarafe Sevillano. They are high Alvariza lands, located on great plains and soft hills that receive their name by the off-white color of the earth below it. They plant a variety of grapes and produce a surprising variety of wines, combining traditional grapes and methods with bold ideas and innovation. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Okay, Alex. So it's a lovely room. This is the, uh, the main area of the of the winery area of the bodega. You see the different references that we have here, mm -hmm. and you have on the top some photos yes. of the vineyards, 
and uh, how how the people collected grapes in the, in the past uh -huh. with the donkeys, the people, the dress. You have there different kind of wine. Uh -huh. The stronger one is Don Curro. It's a type of like the Oloroso from Jerez. We have the Mosto. What is the most demanded is the uh, the, the, the juice, the mm -hmm. juice. Then we have Saloma. It's another kind of wine. It is a very sweet wine. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. okay so we have these two, and then we have uh, white wine, John white wine, also red wine, John red wine, also table wine. And then we have these two wines, we age it in oak, right. in oak. The uh, white wine in American oak, because it uh, keeps the flavor. And then we have the red wine that we use for that, the, the French oak. Right. Because red wine needs to come, darkness, uh, quietness, and mm -hmm. it's different, different kind of oak. Okay. And if we continue over here, we have orange wine, Abuelo Rafael. Uh, grandfather Rafael, but it's sweet wine. It's Pedro Jimenez, Pedro Jimenez wine, uh, grape. We have a sparkling, sparkling wine. It's the the cava, champagne, the same procedure to make okay. it. So it's a traditional it's, method, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. same method to, to do it. And we have two other sparkling wine. We have uh, half half uh, half dry uh, sparkling wine and the brute one. So mm -hmm. it's the, the pure, the yeah. pure, okay? So to get the sweetness from this one, we use the, the Garrido Fino grape, the most right. So we have, and it's really sweet. The tour of the winery is informative and very interesting. Visitors can see the remnants of two centuries of winemaking traditional tools and equipment, and beautiful musky cellars. The entire process is on display, from harvest to corking and everything in between. The facilities are excellent, and Paco explains every detail with passion and deep understanding. Seeing the process step by step provides for an added layer of enjoyment to wine drinking. It's what makes it an experience that engages more than the senses. And now that we've nourished the mind, it's time to get to the best part of the tour. Right. Okay, Alex. Well, we uh, before we have a drink, you decide which one you prefer to start with. Well, I think it would make sense to, to taste the Mosto, to, just to follow the natural process of the wine. You know, it's, it's, it's the youngest uh, wine. Because what, what is Mosto exactly? Mosto is the, the juice, the juice of the grape, the pheasant mm -hmm. juice. In here, we have uh, our enologist, so he, he takes care of this uh, the mosto mm -hmm. to get a little decrease of, uh, of acidity, so then it tastes very, very nice. Okay. Okay, so you will enjoy. Mm -hmm. okay. I will share with you the... Okay. Smell, like you see, flowers. Yeah, it's very, it's very, you know, must. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's grape juice. It's grape juice. You enjoy in your mouth the flavor. So this this kind of wine you can drink it anytime during the day. I, I was going to say it's it's a kind of wine that you know I can see uh, people here in Seville in summer with the heat drinking a lot oh. of this. And now, Alex, mm -hmm. I, will, I will offer you another kind of wine that's very typical from here, it's the orange wine. Right. This wine is recommended as a, a different, like the, like the Mosto, mm -hmm. but this wine we recommend it for appetizer or for dessert. Okay? Mosto, all day, doesn't matter the, the time, but this wine, for appetizer or, or, or dessert. Or dessert. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, smells sweet. It's beautiful. Yeah. Smell the mix of the of the grape. The persimmon is the grapes plus the orange skin. Mm -hmm. 
but this uh, has to be drink slow <laughs> because it's yeah. very very sweet and if you eat too much sugar yeah, very... yeah even in the nose you you feel that it's very dense and very it's very sweet the flavor of the orange so I mean, this this one is uh, is a, a, a very old receipt from the family really it's beautiful I mean you said that uh, you recommend this with dessert I would even go further and say you don't need dessert this is no the dessert. Yes, yeah. yeah could be the dessert yeah <laughs> So this is a, an oxidized wine. It's, yes. it's, a, it's a Oloroso style, yes? Oloroso. Right. You see the, the color? It's pale, very browny. Mm -hmm. I think it's a white wine, aged in, in the barrel. Obviously, you, you don't call it Oloroso, do you? No, we, it's, co it's we call Don Curro, but uh, it's, uh, we call Oloroso because it's more or less the same, but more light. Another of the big uh, differences with uh, with Jerez would be that it's Garrido Fino, is the grape variety. Yes, yes. So the grapes from here are Garrido Fino, and this uh, this one are aged. This uh, the Garrido Fino grapes mm -hmm. aged in the American oak barrels. So do you know for how long is, is this wine aged? This one it takes around three four years. Okay. Three four years. It's very very light, very gentle. Lovely. Right, so Paco, thank you very much for showing us around today. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic experience. Your wines are, are really, really nice. Uh, I, I think, you know, people coming for, to this part of, of the province of Seville, they would really enjoy uh, this visit because there's, there's a lot to, to see here. Thank you to you to give us the opportunity to, to show you our facilities. Fantastic. And, uh, taste our wines. Thank you, Paco. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.